Milani. You, Milani. Milani. Tom Milani. Yeah. Uh, you've been expanding uh, your resume this past year. Uh, oh, yeah. Talk show host. Everybody's in LA. So fantastic. Oh, thank you very much. That was such I, a blast. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And you just directed a stand up special, your yeah. friend Langston Kerman. My good buddy Langston Kerman, who's a hilarious comedian. Uh, his special, Bad Poetry, uh, very funny special that I directed, comes out August 20th. How did on you Netflix. take to, obviously, you've done the stand up specials. I How did you take them, to yeah. uh, directing them? Oh, man, I did so little. I, <laughs> I got a great DP, uh, Cameron Barnett, and then we filmed it at the uh, sort of iconic, you probably went there, the yep. Green Mill in Chicago, yep. which is a really beautiful old bar. Al Capone used to go there, famous murderer, and <laughs> <laughs> so he would go there. And uh, it's really beautiful inside. So the decor, the production design we had, everything looked great. Langston's hour was so good and tight from the time that we started talking about it, but there was so little for me to do that I invented problems. Uh, I went, he had a shirt he wanted to wear, and I went, no, all wrong. And it was a green shirt, totally yeah. fine. And uh, he, brown pants, I went, no, these, these colors, come on. This is not gonna work. Um, so then he would send me photos of himself in his home in different shirts, and I go, absolutely not. We're still on the wrong, <laughs> on the wrong trail. And I saw him once, and I went, maybe that jacket. And I took photos, and then we went with the first shirt. And, <laughs> and then, oh yeah, and then we we're filming, and one of the producers uh, from Netflix goes, is that a logo on his shirt? You can't have a logo. And I went, uh oh. Uh, well, I vetted many shirts and landed on this one, so I could maybe put him, have him put his hand over. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you really took to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a good costumer if you ever want any help with oh, what's thanks. happening here. Yeah, no tie, no jacket. Well, this, yeah. Last time you, I believe, last time you came out in a suit and made me put one on. Yep. And what happened to that novelty suit? You don't wear it anymore. <laughs> no. Well, I was very what happy. I was very, I'm suit? very relieved when you came out with that one tonight. Yeah, no, I did. Well, also, I wasn't well, gonna do it that anymore. Well, you and I, we we have to dress up. We're going out to dinner after the show tonight. Not to brag. Yes. Are we gonna do right after? We're gonna do dinner right after. This is one of my favorite things about having you here. Uh, it's great. very nice to be here for that reason. Is uh, it gonna be you and I, or did we? Simon Rich is doing your show tomorrow, right? Yeah, but we couldn't get him here in time. He's not here? No, he's flying in tonight. What time does he get in? Uh, like 10 o'clock. From LA? Yeah. Why even come then if you're gonna yeah. land <laughs> at 10? Oh, to get here for the night before? Yeah. All right. Did, oh, did you text Jost? Uh, yeah, he's in LA. He's in LA? Yeah. Does he live there? No, but no, I No, he lives in New York. It does Saturday Night Live. Yeah, yeah. You know who you else know I asked who couldn't, who couldn't do it? Who? I did ask Lauren Michaels. Oh. And he, he was not free tonight. Is he at a uh, different... He's picking up Simon at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> so, Just waiting. Um, but uh, Lauren, this is very exciting. There's a new I'm movie. very excited about this movie. Uh, there's a new out. movie called Saturday Night. Yes. Tell us about it. Okay. You so, have nothing, and before you tell us about it, you have nothing to do with it. Zero to do with it. You saw the trailer. I saw the trailer. Now, I worked for five years at Saturday Night Live, but I had no idea the kind of pressure cooker that it was. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, yeah. it's high stakes. Yeah. Um, so this is a movie, so the, um, uh, being an insider in Hollywood, I don't have to wait for, to see the movie. I got the script. And if you see the trailer, there's a lot of very, really interesting moments <laughs> where, um, you know, like what we know now, you're like, oh, if only they knew then, right? Yeah. And I read this scene and uh, I thought we could read it together. Okay, it great. is so, when you hear it, <laughs> your hair will stand up on your neck. Are you, are we reading, are, so who, who, are you gonna be, it's young Lorne, Hails a taxi. Yeah, so this is uh, uh, exterior night. That okay. means it's outside, yep. and they're filming it at night, okay. Uh, I'll read Young Lauren, okay? okay? <clears throat> so I get, uh, Lauren Michaels gets it. Take me to Rockefeller Center. I'm gonna go do Saturday Night Live, a new show on NBC. TV at night, that'll never work. You, you <laughs> dumb cabbie. <laughs> It'll be so famous and good at sketch comedy. So what I like about that <laughs> is the stakes. The stakes. The stakes are high. The stakes are high. I, my only regret is you have no involvement in it in any Zero, way, shape, or form. Zero, and then fun fact, as of today, I've never been in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't wait to have dinner with you after this, and it's just so lovely to see you, but it's let's so, give it up one more time. One more time for Miss Kim. Miss Kim. Miss Kim. The real star. Thank you, Kim. The new star of the Milani family. John Mulaney, everybody. Langston Kerman, Bad Poetry begins streaming August 20th on Netflix. We'll be right back with Alona Marr. <laughs>